Hello, in this C programming video, we are going to cover arithmetic operators. So there's seven main arithmetic operators. There's the one that allows you to add two numbers together, take away one number from another, multiply two numbers, or divide one number by another. Those are like the four basic ones of the arithmetic operators. And then there's three more as well, which we'll cover at the end of this video, but let's just cover those first and you can do it in any which way you please so you could do something like this int num1 equals 10 int num2 equals 7 and let's print them off you could assign the result of these arithmetic operators back to another variable that's fine as well but I will just print it off so I'll say you know add and I'll just put it like dash and what I'll put is do, 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 do. and I'll put percent I'll put percent do, 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 do. I'll put and then I will put send a and I'll put num1 plus num2. So that is the add operator. So we just return 17 there. And I'll do three more. So this will be subtract. So num1 minus num2. And yes, it can handle negative numbers. So if you was to flip num2 and num1, where you will get seven minus 10, you will get negative three. That is fine as well. And next we're going to put multiply and I'll put that just so it doesn't get confusing. And what I'm going to do here is put a times and then there's a divide as well. So the divide is a forward slash. So the one that might look a bit alien to you if this is programming for the first time for yourself is the multiply, which is asterisk, and divide, which is forward slash. And if you've done stuff like spreadsheets, for example, or some other, not coding, but computer-based stuff, you might have seen this before as well so it may or may not be alien if you haven't done coding so let's save it give it a run let's see what we get uh, let me <laughs> add backslash m so it's all on new lines otherwise it's a little hard to decipher what's what and add 10 plus 7 is 17 10 minus 7 is 3 10 times by 7 is 70 and this is the interesting one, the divider. So 10 divided by seven is coming up as one. So let's try, let's see if we, what happens if we change it to a float. Run that, we get zero. So what is happening? So if you want to do a division with floats, or where the result is going to be float, make sure your initial values are float. And you'll get like there you go there's the answer right there and this is messing up because we put percent d instead of percent f i thought i'd show you that and if i give that a run now it'll all work fine it'll add you know 0.0000 that's fine and you could always cast these as well to floats if you wanted to go down that route again feel free to check out that video as well for casting so the other three operate operators are the modulus operator and that just basically gives you the remainder after an integer division because when we did 10 divided by 7 and it was all integer based stuff it said how many times is 7 going to 10 without going over it's once and then it just gets rid of the remainder it doesn't do anything with it doesn't factor it in so what we'll do now we'll actually put that we'll say modulus um send i it doesn't need to be anything other than that and for this you just put the percent symbol 
And if I give that a run, This strange, we'll oh, see a moaning about. Ah, it's because he's afloat. Sorry, my bad. Um, you know what? What I'll do is I'll just put it in line. So I'll just put 10, 7, like so. Give it a run. There we go. Modular 3. So 7 goes into 10 once. Then what's the remainder? Which is 3. And that's how you get the remainder. Modulus is the remainder operator. The other operator, operator is increment operator, which is pretty cool. So if I had a number here, let's say int i equals zero, and I print f i, and I'll just do percent i, and print out i. You would expect zero, and that's what we get. If I was to put i plus plus here, yeah, what? So what is happening? And then there's the other one, which is I minus minus. So this is increment. This is decrement. And if I was to run that now, you get a negative one. So these two are the equivalent of I equaling itself plus one. So we add you know one to itself and as you can imagine this is the same as i equaling itself minus one and there we go so those are the arithmetic operators i mean i don't really need to comment these operators i would just put i would just say remainder operator i think the rest are pretty self-explanatory if you have any questions feel free to join the discord group there'll be a link in the description i will also put a link to the github page where there will be all the source code and that's it for this c video if you have any questions feel free to you know join the discord group and i'll see you in the next video